The HS35 IQ encoder has four LEDs on the housing. One of these LEDs is for temperature detection. Today, we're gonna to take a deeper look at the configuration possibilities and the functionality of this temperature detection feature. The HS35 IQ encoder is designed with an internal temperature sensor. Equipment manufacturers determine the temperature range their products can safely operate in without damage. High temperature detection within the encoder provides early notification that the operating temperature is approaching or exceeding the safe range. Heat in general can indicate a large problem and catching it early can save expensive repairs. It is important that maintenance personnel catch the root cause early so they can troubleshoot during scheduled downtime. Once you have connected your encoder to a laptop, launch the service tool software and navigate to the fault monitoring tab. From here, both the upper and lower error and warning temperature thresholds of the encoder can be turned off individually by selecting these boxes. This screen also provides more detail on exactly what threshold has been exceeded, which is more information than the LED on the housing of the encoder provides. If you select the Configure Fault Monitor button, a submenu will appear. This is where you can set at what temperature either an error or a warning is triggered. The default values from the factory are set to the encoder's operating temperature range. When an error is triggered, the LED on the housing of the encoder pulses red and an output signal is transmitted out of the primary and diagnostic connectors. Warnings do not activate the fault output signal. This output can be wired to an external monitoring system. For an example on how this is done, please refer to our white paper titled, How to Connect the HS35 IQ Encoder Fault Output to a PLC. Please note that the temperature recorded is internal to the encoder and therefore the temperature will be higher than the ambient temperature. Also, the software will not let you set the warning limit to be higher than the error limit. Once you have set your temperature threshold, you must click Send to Device. Once a temperature warning or error is triggered, a notification is sent to the event log. The LED on the housing of the encoder will also pulse orange for warnings and red for faults. Once the fault is cleared, the LED will pulse blue for 30 minutes before returning to a green pulse. Lastly, by selecting Clear All Faults, your LEDs are reset to green until another fault condition is detected. The ability to detect and manipulate temperature thresholds allows the user to be proactive rather than reactive for a temperature fault. For more information, visit Dynapar.com, where we have more resources, including white papers and videos to help.